He began to pursue you. It was his idea first. It was his idea to create you. And his idea to love and to chase you. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which is given to us. Romans 5.5 5. The Amplified For God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. The Holy Spirit is God's gift to you. Love never fails My love never fails Follow the way of love 1 Corinthians 14.1 If the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the nighttime his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. Psalm 42 8. My loving kindness is yours. Thou showest loving kindness to thousands. Jeremiah 32, 18. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. You are mine. You are mine. I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions for mine own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Isaiah 43, 25. Observe how Christ loved us. His love was not cautious, but extravagant. He didn't love in order to get something from us, but to give everything of himself to us. Love like that. Ephesians 5.2, a message. And walk in love as Christ also had loved us and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling favor. King James Version Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him, for he shields him all day long, and the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. Deuteronomy 33.12 Rest secure in me For I shield you all day long How I love you so in my heart right in 
in between my shoulders my heart shall hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay our lives for the brethren. 1 John 3.16 For the Father himself loveth you, because you have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. John 16.27 The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Zephaniah 317. The New International Reader's Version says this. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty enough to save you. He will take great delight in you. The quietness of his love will calm you down. He will sing with joy because of you. In all reality, my friend, he is mighty enough because the Lord has saved you through Jesus Christ. I have saved you. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. Isaiah 49, 15, 16. Call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Matthew 23.9 He really is your father. He is our shepherd, our protector. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy triumphs. Kind mercy wins over harsh judgment every time. Always wins. Always wins. Message. James 2.13 I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. Here is the Amplified. For he, God himself, has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not. I will not. I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake you, nor let you down, relax my hold on you, assuredly not. So we take comfort in our encouraged and confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be seized with alarm. I will not fear or dread or be terrified. What can man do? me. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from me. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says the Lord, that hath mercy on me. Isaiah 54, 10. The message says, 
or even if the mountains walk away and the hills fall to pieces, my love won't walk away from you. My covenant commitment of peace won't fall apart. The God who has compassion on you says so. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 I so loved you that I gave my only begotten Son for you. If you believe in me, you would not perish, but have everlasting life. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. 1 John 4.16 According as he has chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Ephesians 1, 4. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or nakedness, or peril, or sword. Romans 8.35 Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Romans 8.37 I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them, and thou hast loved me. John 17.23 Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee, from those that rise up against them. Psalm 17, 7. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Psalm 25, 6. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Psalm 63, 3. Loving kindness. How I love your tender mercy.